Hello everyone, welcome back to the ultimate hunter's guide for Dark Souls. Dark Souls Remastered, I should say. Listen, if I had to categorize my recent uh, like YouTube experience, like recording experience, it has been, it could be summed up as a technical nightmare. Like I've had, to be fair, some self-caused uh, technical issues but also some not self-caused ones. And once again, my fucking video got corrupted when I started recording this episode. So it's fucking Streamlabs. Uh, there was a new update and it's just sometimes screwing me. I don't know why. Um, basically one frame like sometimes freezes for some reason and it just like corrupts the rest of the footage. Uh, so what I did is I rolled back to the previous update and hopefully that's gonna fix it maybe just weirdly interacting with something like in the whole chain of like streaming setup or recording setup there is something that's like bugging uh the thing out so essentially what i did so far which you didn't see is i killed ceaseless and i killed the demon fire sage uh neither of those bosses are particularly interesting you know what the deal with Ceaseless is, you just fucking go and... I'm just gonna check if I'm recording audio. Yes, I am. You know, with Ceaseless, you just take the clothes, run back, and you let him fall off. Uh, demon Fire says just, you fight him, it's a demon. So, if this happened in any other area aside from Lost Isolith, I'd be a little bit more pissed, but this is such a shitty area that I'm... Honestly, just like speed running this thing to do, get through as soon as possible. I also stocked up on the arrows uh, and leveled up a couple of times. Honestly, at this point with my setup, I don't really have any. Oh shit! Yeah, I used the humanity for a reason. I don't really have anything to go for aside from arrows and just endurance and vitality level wise. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing, but. At least you'll get to see the centipede demon, because this is where I think my bow and arrow will actually be useful. So yeah, we are going to try clearing Isolith today. Um, technically there's not that much of it to go, but you know you know the deal with Isolith, it can pretty much go one of two ways. And I don't know, I just have a feeling it's gonna go the second way this time around. As in, it's gonna be a nightmare. Look at that thing. What a stupid boss. It's kinda hard to discern what this thing actually is. Like, look-wise, you know? It's just like a mangled mess of demons. It's a fair design, actually. Just a little bit... Cheapo, you know. Holy fuck! That is, like, even more damage than I was expecting. I knew this thing would go down with the arrows. Like... It's a legit tactic against this thing in, like, a normal playthrough as well. To just kill it from range. Like this thing with sorceries is a piece of cake. But damn. Just gotta watch out for that. Holy shit, one hit and it falls. Wow. Okay. I actually don't really even know what attacks these things have. Okay, that's a tag team, and that's a little bit unfair now. Just quickly heal. Yeah, we pretty much need to go for the bow and arrow. What the hell is going on, game? Obviously, this being lost to Isolith. You guys know that. Um, oh, shit. Thanks. You guys know that... Um, the flame weapon ain't exactly gonna be doing the most damage. Luckily, do I have a backup for you? That 
was insanely easy. Oh man, cool. That was the centipede demon. I present to you the truly the most challenging boss in the entire game. Uh, okay, fuck off wolf ring. No, but to be fair, you know, a plus 15 ferris bow with 40 dexterity and the long range large arrows, they're gonna do that, they're gonna do that. Deals quite a spicy bit of damage. God, I'm so glad to be here. As in, I'm not glad to be here because it's ice lit, but I am glad to be here to get this area done because... I'm pretty much just shooting for the DLC here. Um, although to be fair, I think I will clear out at least the painted world for sure. We gotta go to the painted world, that's a good area. The Great Hollow and Ash Lake, uh, not really, not really my favorite. So we're just gonna, I think. Settle with the Painted World and the DLC. The DLC is going to be actually fairly interesting because so many of the enemies, bosses basically, are there, are resistant to elemental weapons. So using the Quail Axe Sword is going to be an interesting, interesting proposition to say the least. But I think we'll manage. We're big boys here. <laughs> Got these things. I've been like really addicted. You guys probably know Zuli the Witch on YouTube. Uh, he has a lot of good like Dark Souls hacked videos. You know, some of these guys. God, what, what was the name of the first dude that did it? I don't remember. He doesn't do YouTube anymore. He was the one that exposed the like undead king jar l boss or whatever anyways he was the first one he did like long form like big explaining videos zuli the witch just does like the bite size stuff which I, I actually really like and he had one on this area you know just about the dragon asses and all that And, you know, it really puts it into perspective. It, like, the fact that this is a well-designed area. Like, if you look at all the architecture of uh, Lost Isolith, it looks pretty cool. The building is, like, inspired by, I think, a temple in Indonesia, right? That has, like, this type of design. And it's, like, really cool. They clearly put an effort a lot of effort into the area itself but the enemy choices and the general gameplay is just a bit of a nightmare so so yeah I feel like a large chunk of the complaints against this place could be fixed if the dragon asses didn't exist I feel like the dragon asses really are the one that ones that sour this place quite a bit, you know. To have a extremely annoying and cheap e excuse me, enemy that's also recycled, like it's just a bit of another enemy. Uh, you can see how that puts a bad taste into people's mouths. Like, if there was some actual interesting enemy... And you know the weird thing, I noticed this in the lost footage as well. That a lot of these air enemies do not actually react to you shooting them from a distance. It's really strange because in all the other air... Oh, shit. In all the other areas in the game, enemies would aggro on you if you shot them. But here, these things, and the Capra Demons as well, back in the Demon Ruins, they just don't do shit if you shoot them. And it's a little bit peculiar. See, they just sit there. It's so bizarre. 
I mean, obviously for this type of build, this is very convenient to say the least, because you can just snipe, snipe, snipe. Vesley snipes. Is that dude still doing anything? Vesley snipes. Hopefully he didn't go down the Steven Seagal route, where he's just making like increasingly shitty action movies. Increasingly cheap too. It's been like memed on a thousand times, but that Steven Seagal movie, A Good Man, that shit is so fucking funny. That movie is one of the best bits of unintentional comedy ever. It's like fat fucking Steven Seagal in Romania trying to like karate his way <laughs> or something. Holy shit. Definitely made for for tax purposes or something. Like that can't be le that movie can't have been done for like any like artistic purpose. I can only think of tax avoidance. Or like money laundering or something. This is why the wolf ring is helpful. Okay. See? He has a wolf ring. Sort of. Oh, well, we can get his armor now, which I'm never gonna get because it's really heavy. But it's cool. It's a cool piece of kit. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was gonna be an okay. But it turned into an oh, shit. And once again, I've managed to pretty much screw up Ziegmeier's questline. Because he should be here by now already. But I think I didn't talk to him in the swamp. Which is okay. See, this is what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this Titanite demon reacts to being shot at. Or whether you can just farm this thing. You technically can. No, 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 he reacts. See, it has to do something with the enemies specifically made for Lost Isolith. It's really strange. Fuck that attack, seriously. It's like it does a 180 turn midair. Anyways, this thing is an absolute nightmare to deal with. Uh, so I'm not gonna deal with him. Just doing this for shortcut purposes and the 50k souls in my bank account. And of course, Mr. Solaire himself. Who's not here? Oh, because. But he still should be. Like, if you don't do his quest line. Hold on a second. Solera has, has been like really strange this playthrough because he didn't, I specifically remember him not showing up in Arolando and he didn't show up any further either. Weird. I definitely talked to him in the beginning because I summoned him for the gargoyles. I have no idea. That is actually really bizarre. Um, trying to figure out where the chain was broken, you know. Like, I specifically remember it, sort of, I found it weird as well that he didn't show up in Arolando. And then after that, he just disappeared. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna hit the bonfire back up here. Okay, we can get one level, definitely going into Endurance, because we need to now run all the way back. Should be fun. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. And you technically can do this with a bow and arrow. You can shoot out the little spheres. So 
think that's something we're gonna try. I don't actually know how to do You have to be pretty specific with how you aim. But if I can do that, that's gonna be muy conveniente, as the Spanish say. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe we just need to, like... Like, learn how to aim. Well, there it is. Speedrunners can do this, like, crazy well. Um, they know exactly what spot to shoot. Come on, bruh. Come on. There it is. Jesus, what the hell? Fuck it. But then it's like... That is really weird. I don't remember ever, ever having, had to, having had to break that much shit to get this thing to go to phase two. God, this is a nightmare, this boss. It looks cool, though. You gotta admit. Yeah, we're, we're quitting and reloading. Uh, ain't no chance in hell I'm going to like back platform there. I genuinely do not know who was the first one to figure out that you can do this with the Bed of Chaos, but whoever you were, I salute you, sir. You are a true gentleman. Give him a Reddit silver. Because otherwise this would be an absolute nightmare. It still is. Like, you know, it still is. It's just... A little bit less of a nightmare. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking! I didn't. I thought we had a straight shot. This is like, like, even after all this time, I still don't know where exactly the floor breaks. Oh, God, and this run back is truly patience testing. I don't even remember how the hell I did this shit the first time around, my first playthrough. I must have like gone mad, cause you know, like when you're all newbie and you don't know anything about this boss, you gotta like go back and watch my first playthrough again. Okay, so I'm really gonna work on not having to do that again because it's not a fun run back. And actually, I don't know if there's a bonfire that's closer. I don't think there is. There probably isn't. Knowing how evil this area is. So sketchhead. Don't f don't fuck it up. Please don't fuck it up. Yeah, this is the one I didn't know about or I, like forgot. Go. I mean, kudos to this boss for being nerve-wracking, at least. Cool. Yeah, I skipped the cutscene. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Final step. Okay, floor. Oh, shit. Those little sweeps, and... Run! I fucking jumped a quarter of a second too early. <sighs> Thanks, Bed of Chaos. You are truly, truly a magnificent piece of work. Not rage inducing at all. Not, not in the slightest. I am completely at peace with this.
You don't you don't even know how much I'm hoping this attempt succeeds because I really really don't want to go through that again. Jump. Did I do it? I think I might have done it. Let's just heal up the full because the fire can easily kill you. The firestorm. Which I have zero clues on how to avoid. Oh, he just didn't do it. No, he's doing it now. Cool. Just die. Somehow it still hits. And does massive damage. <sighs> Thank you. I got my wish and Lost Isolith and Bed of Chaos is Donzo. Donzo, Donzo. I'm gonna get 30 vitality because why not? Cool, 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 cool. So where should we go next? Um, let's just see. Painted World? I think Painted World. But before that, we gotta make a pit stop here and pick up more arrows. We we just need arrows. I'm gonna repair all my shit too, because no reason not to. And you can see, like it's impossible for things to actually be broken in this game. I think, like naturally, but we got spare souls. Why not? All right. Painted world, here we go. Or here we come, I should say. And you know, to be clear, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish the area. Um, but we will go through like the initial... Like, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going with this thought. Like the initial few... Holy shit. Zones of it, I guess. This is like a, just shooting these motherfuckers in the stomach. Feel the power of the Ferris bow. They like, don't seem to mind, like these things really don't seem to mind their friends getting killed. Because they're all hollows, something like that. They're like, huh? I'm the end from Metal Gear Solid 3. Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm Sniper. Impossible to see. It's not like I'm standing in the middle of the gigantic hallway. Or cathedral or whatever this thing is. It might be just slightly overpowered for this place. Never mind. Being overpowered is never a bad thing. It's a nice ass painting though. I imagine that's the sound that would be made. Getting sucked into that thing. It's a shame that it doesn't make that sound. Okay, definitely gonna kindle this. I have so many humanities, it's unbelievable. Like, pretty hard to run out. Although maybe in the DLC we'll be using a lot more, but honestly, considering this playthrough, I've honestly not died too much. There are some playthroughs where I have more deaths, just because maybe I'm just not playing that well. But in this one, it's not really been happening. Which is good. You know, let's not break the flow of the action. Hell yeah. This is why you carry a bow around. Well, isn't there supposed to be an enemy up here? Bro. Oh yeah? How about this?
I don't think you can get on my level with archery. Except for the fact that these things are cheating as bitches and they... Uh, their arrows home in. Okay, that is a little bit more damage than I thought. But yeah, it's very convenient being able to attack them without having to deal with the toxic bullshit. You know, because at this point, who has like spare blooming mosses? No one. I guess that's why it's a good mechanic to have here. I always think I that's the treasure I always think you can jump to, but you cannot. You have to drop from above. Oh, hey there. Fucking hell, they inflict... About the blooming moss. Saved by the final blooming moss. I had no idea these rats inflict toxic. I genuinely didn't. Good to know, though. You never know when that useless bit of trivia is gonna... Oh, fucking hell. And a useless bit of trivia is gonna come in handy. That is so useful. They do take more damage if you hit the head. That's, that is a quick ass projectile. Okay. Never mind though. I think I'm gonna try getting the shortcut unlocked here quickly. Oh, is that gonna. No. Fall damage in Dark Souls 1. Don't even worry about it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go the dragon ass dragon ass route. Uh, I don't want to bother with the whole like tunnel and the bone wheels and all that. The dragon ass path is just way easier. But still, as we unlock the shortcut back to the initial bonfire, I am going to start wrapping up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Ultimate Hunter's Guide. We really are like wrapping up towards the end here. At least we'll get into the DLC probably next episode, which is such a good area. So I'm looking forward to that. Until then, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.